Hi, Pat again. Um, have you ever heard the expression, science is self-correcting? <coughs> well, that um, statement has been hotly debated on YouTube. There have been many videos made in support of it and many videos made uh, refuting it. Um, so I'm not going to really present any particularly new information here other than my personal experience. Now, um, the subject of um, um, Ernest Haeckel's embryos has been uh, uh, debated on YouTube. As we know, Ernest Haeckel, um, around 1915 or something, um, drew a series of embryos from different creatures, from chickens, dogs, turtles, um, to humans, fish, etc., uh, to show a similarity in the embryonic stages, uh, which su suggest uh, common descent. And of course, uh, it wasn't. Uh, it was already years and years ago that uh, Haeckel's embryos were exposed to be fraudulent. That uh, he had fudged those drawings to um, better support his claims. Now, um, as I said. Um, the, the claim is that science is self-correcting. And I'm just going to read you a little clip um, from um, a Talk Origins website. Um, and this is just dealing with um, the correction of the misidentification of Nebraska man's tooth. Uh, once the correction had been made, <clears throat> they realised it wasn't the man's tooth at all. Uh, this is what they had to say. As we always thought, mankind originated in America. Further examination correctly identified the tooth and the Nebraska man now serves as a fine example of scientific or science self-correcting. Right. Sounds good, but um, you see, last night I... Um, my daughter, my 15 year old daughter came home from school and t she gave me a uh, school science textbook to have a look through that she'd been presented with as part of her curriculum. I'll show you what that is. And that's um, Queensland Science 3. Uh, looked pretty interesting and she thought I might like to have a look through it and I did. Came to a subject heading 5.7. Evidence for evolution. I thought, here we go. So then I flick through the pages, and what do you know? Look what we find: evidence for evolution. The heading of this uh, this illustration says the development of vertebrate embryos provides evidence for evolution. Okay, I'll just read that again. The development of vertebrate embryos provides evidence for evolution, and here is the the accompanying illustration. Okay, what do we have here? Haeckel's embryos. These are recreations of the original uh, embryo um, artist illustration by Ernest Haeckel. Now, you'll notice on the page there is no disclaimer. There is no um, listing of the artist who did the, imp the who did the uh, drawings. There is no disclaimer saying that uh, Ernest Haeckel fudged these drawings and that these drawings are not correct. Nothing like that whatsoever is is mentioned in the book. The, the heading simply reads: "The development of vertebrate embryos provides evidence for evolution." Now, this book was presented to my daughter yesterday in 2010. Um, so it's a current school science textbook. Um, it says here um, that this book was first published, probably can't see that, but first published in 2001. Uh, so some could argue that perhaps it's an old, old school textbook. Well, sure, but what, if it's an old school textbook and it has been exposed to have faulty information, that could possibly mislead children. That could support a worldview um, based on fraudulent drawings. Uh, if that's the case, then surely the school system should have removed it and replaced it with something else. 
Um, I would think even making up, you know, collecting all the school textbooks and making up a little stamp to put on the bottom of that or something. But no, it's not. And I, I have no reason not to believe that had my daughter studied this, had she not known any better, that she would have concluded that these embryo, these embryo illustrations were correct and accurate. So, um, science is self-correcting? I don't think so. That's my two cents for today.